Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me, so I hope you'll help me out. Today we are unboxing a Louis Vuitton item that almost got away. It is the item that I found in London at the Louis Vuitton store and I didn't buy it there because I'm like, I'm going to Paris, I'll pick it up there. And then we couldn't find it. Luckily they got it in Sydney and I have been able to purchase it since getting home so it is over here in this box. First of all, I want to talk about Vivaya shoes. And I know, I know, I can feel you all switching off and going, oh, good grief, she's going to do sponsorship. Yes, yes, I am. And that, But there's a reason for that. So I've been very clear on my channel about the fact that I will not, will not do partnerships or sponsorships with companies that I don't already use or wouldn't already use. I have a very, very small list of people that I work with. But Vivaya shoes, I own 40 pairs of Vivaya shoes and I bought them all with my own money before Vivaya even reached out to me. Allow me to insert video of all my Vivaya shoes that I own. 40 pairs of them. I counted them. I know. While I traveled, you will have seen all my Instagram posts of me wearing my Vivaya shoes before they reached out to me. So when they reached out to me and said, hey, can we send you some free shoes and will you talk about us? I went, you know what? I will because I love your shoes. Not because you're gonna give me anything for it, but because I actually like your shoes. So they were kind enough to give me four pairs of shoes and I will admit I struggled to choose four pairs I didn't already own, but I will talk about those shoes and then I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite ones that I actually have from them because they are so comfortable and so lightweight. They were perfect for travel. I could not fault them um, and I really actually do love their shoes. So that is honest and true testimony from me. I wouldn't talk about them if I didn't and the fact that I paid so much money to have so many pairs of shoes before they reached out to me should tell you that I do actually love them because my collection is either luxury shoes, got a couple of pair of Converse, my Doc Martens from 20 years ago and Vivaya pretty much. So that is my shoe wardrobe and I own a lot of shoes. So they were kind enough to send me four pairs of shoes and I'll show that you each of them. So um, hang on, I'm just bringing up my notes because they're all named after women. I get confused about which shoe is what woman which is fair. So the first pair of shoes they sent me are these. So these are the Aria 5. So I chose these ones because I like the two-toned, but their ballet flats are some of my favorites. They are super cushiony inside. They are super flexible, which I loved and was great for travel. They are water repellent. Um, and they are good for a wide foot. Now, these ones I got in a 39 and I'm fine with it. I do play with some of the sizing for these. So you can see it's got this great cushion at the back. Um, I never get blisters with my Vivaya shoes and they're made of water bottles. So they are actually great for the environment and sustainable. All their packaging that you get can be recycled, but the actual shoes themselves are made of plastic bottles, which is what drew me to the brand in the first place and how lightweight they are. So that's why I got to Vivaya um, and why I love them so much, but they are so comfortable. So these are the Ari five and I chose them. I have Arias in other colors, but I didn't have these ones. The next pair of shoes they sent me are these ones. These are called the Julie Pro. Now, I will happily admit I chose these because Selena Gomez has these. <laughs> she is pictured wearing these exact shoes, which is why I chose them. So you can see they've got this great block heel on them and they are two-tone and they are very classic. They do read a little bit Chanel, but look at this cushion, so comfortable. So I got these in a 39 and I will admit that um, I am probably gonna get them in a 39 and a half. And I think they do the black with the beige toe as well. So yes, I do wanna go up half a size. I am generally, for the most part across the board, a 38 and a half and I want these in a 39 and a half. So I'm going a full size up in these. Um, but yes, these 
are just very classic and like I said I'm useless and Selena goes me as wears these and I was like oh I want those ones because she wears them and I think I can probably style them but as far as heels go the block on these makes these super comfortable so classic classic heel um, and they're great the next ones that they sent me are these ones. So these are the Jackie Square Toe Loafers. So I only have one other pair of these. Um, so they remind me, I've got Louis Vuitton ones that are very, very similar to this style. Um, and no, just Louis Vuitton. I've got two pairs of Louis Vuitton ones, which are very, very similar. Look at that cushion. These are so comfortable. Um, and I did go half a size, so and I did go to a 39 and a half in these because I find their loafers do run a little bit small, so keep that in mind. But in this fabulous, fabulous um, cheetah, uh, leopard print, sorry, it's not cheetah, it's a leopard print. And I've got a few pairs in leopard print because it just gives it a little bit of extra um, something, something. So I think I've got one, two, three, I'm sorry. I, my shoes are over there. I can see them from where I am. So I'm counting. So uh, I think I have four pairs of le le leopard print shoes. So these will make five. Why not? All from Vivaya. So yes. So these are fantastic as well. They're super comfy. I love their loafers. My favorites of what they sent me. Oh, love these. So these are the Tara boot. So if you followed my travels through Europe, you saw my black version of these, which are currently packed away over there. I lived in these boots for many outfits and I have them so because I had the black ones. I also have the black ones which go over the knee. These are the knee high ones. I love these. These are fabulous. I love the fact that they are um, low. They aren't flat, but they aren't a big heel. They do do a heeled version of this as well. I love the sock um, quality to them. They stay up. You can fold them over. You have versatility in them. These were so comfortable when I traveled and because they can do this, packing a pair of knee high boots into your suitcase, these were the best. I cannot rave about these shoes enough. I love my black ones and I am so incredibly excited to have a gray pair. I think they've just bought out a navy as well, which I admit that I am very much most likely probably going to buy <laughs> myself because I really want the navy ones as well. But I'm super excited to have the gray. The black are amazing. These Tara boots, I cannot recommend them highly enough. They are were so comfortable, so easy to pack down when I traveled. These were perfect for the trans-seasonal weather we're in. So they were coming out of summer, they were in fall, they were going to go into winter. We didn't know what we were going to get. These were perfect for travel, these boots. So if you're going to get any kind of boot, um, knee-high boot, I, I highly recommend these. I love these boots. As somebody who traveled and wore them for kilometers and kilometers and kilometers, I cannot recommend these more highly boots. Uh, so they're the four pairs they sent me. I'm going to do some honorable mentions of other things that they do that I love. So these are their joggers and I have three pairs of these. These are the ones that I took overseas. So you can see they're battered. I've now run these through the washing machine. So I just whacked them in a wash bag and put them through the washing machine. These were the joggers that I took overseas and these are the ones that I wore. They are lightweight. They are flexible. I did not get blisters. They were perfect. I got these in a 39 and I got the boots in 39 as well if anyone's interested. Um, and they were the perfect joggers. I have them with pink detail and I have them with green detail. They also do them with a blue detail. Will I get the blue ones? Maybe. <laughs> you never know. Um, so these were fantastic joggers. I really recommend their joggers. They're super comfortable. If you're traveling, they're lightweight and they will go the distance. So absolutely um, love their joggers. And the other pair I want to do a shout out about is these ones. These are my everyday shoes. This is what I wear to the office. Like you can see, I wear them. They're battered. So these are just there. I think they're called the Claire um, Ballet Flat. They're round toe. They are super comfortable. They are flexible. I wore these on the plane um, to when we went overseas, but I wear these every day to the office, basically. If the outfit allows, then I am in these. They are comfortable and they are easy and they are light. Um, so their ballet flats are brilliant. They're great for a wide foot. Once again, 39 and a half is where I am most comfortable. I can most certainly wear the 39s, but the 39 and a half just give me a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more comfort. So that's what I recommend. But the clear ballet flats, I own so many pairs of these. It's just a ridiculous amount of these because these are my favorites. So that's um, what Vivaya offer. 
Go check them out. They're great. Um, I have loved them for ages. I love their shoes. They have a Black Friday sale on at the moment. So they've given me a discount code for you guys. So I'll throw it up on the screen. It's 12 Mare, M-E-R-E. Um, and with their Black Friday sale at the moment, my discount code gives you 12% off one pair, 20% off two pairs, 25% off three pairs, or 30% off four pairs of shoes. There's a really good chance I'm going to go buy 40 pair, four pairs of shoes with my own discount code to get 40 uh, to get 30% off because <laughs> there's a few pairs I would like. So there's a good chance I'm out there buying shoes with my um, my own money and my own discount code. But if you want to try these shoes, I really recommend them. I love the boots. I love the joggers. I love the ballet flats. I'm really excited to give the block heels a go. I've got some... Um, with kitten heels that I love and I've got some wedges that I really love as well. So they do so many great shoes. Um, I wouldn't work with them if I didn't actually wear them. And the fact that I already loved them so much when they approached me, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely in on this because I love your shoes. They're brilliant. So that's Vivaya Shoes. I'm going to have all the details linked down below in the description box. Get out there and give them a go if you like, if you like shoes or you want comfy shoes or you want great travel shoes, lightweight shoes, like they're just really functional and easy to use um, and easy to wear. And yeah, I can't speak highly enough of them. I actually have put them to the test and I wear them every day. So yes. So that's my new partnership that I'm working with Vivaya Shoes, but I already loved them. So yes, let's unbox my fabulous item from Louis Vuitton. So this item, and some of you may now know what's in this box by the look of the box, but this item, I saw it in uh, Louis Vuitton in New Bond Street when I was shopping with some of the fabulous YouTubers and Amelia Rose from Amelia Rose's Closet was there and she takes me over to this wall of these types of bags and we're looking for one in particular and we're both like, oh, when we found this one and I just loved it. I loved it. It was stunning. So I was talking to James, who is the fabulous sales associate at New Bond Street, um, and we were talking about this bag. And I was like, well, I'm going to Paris. I'm going to try and find it in Paris because it'll be cheaper. Um, and when I did the conversion of how much it was going to cost me to buy it in London, I can get it for the same price in Sydney. So I was like, if I miss it in Paris, I'll just buy it in Sydney and get them to order it in for me. It's fine. Um, as it turns out, couldn't get in Paris. They found it the last day that we were leaving and we were already at the airport. So the sales associate had um, messaged me and said, hey, I found that bag that you're hunting. And I said, too late, I'm already at the airport. Um, Sydney, as it turned out, got um, one in and I had or I contacted my sales associate in Sydney and said, I'm after this. He's like, that's fine. We're going to need to order. It. It'll take a few weeks. So I made payment for it and I had some credit sitting there. So they used the credit and I paid the difference. Difference. Um, and as it turned out, the day that he returned to work after doing that for me, he had the weekend off, his weekend off, it wasn't an actual weekend. Um, he said, it's here. And I was like, oh, I thought you said I had to order it. He's like, one showed up, it's yours. So it was just good timing. So it's here and I'm so excited. So let's get it out because it's just, it's so stunning. I haven't seen this one in person, but I have seen the bag in person because obviously I saw it in London. It's so pretty. So it looks like this. So you should all know what it is by the packaging by now because these boxes are um, made spe specifically for this type of bag. Oh, hello. What are you? I got a little card. Oh, what do you say? Oh, dear Meredith, I hope you enjoy this beautiful new gem in your collection. Love always, Miguel, who is my fabulous sales associate in Sydney, who I love and adore. Oh, thank you. I have the best sales associate. So we open it up and it looks like this. So, oh, goodness me. So dust bags are doing this... Um, evolution at the moment so this seems to be the new dust bag for the this type of bag and then they've got the one the dust bags that have the melotage i think i'm saying that right pattern on it and they're for the go 14s but we're seeing different dust bags going out with different bags at the moment so i feel like there's just this whole evolution of dust bag happening so this is the one that i got with this bag you can see it says louis vuitton in the um 
white on white pattern. It's very thick dust bag and it has um, the same color tassels on it. So let's open it up. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Are we ready? So this is a mini capucines in blue velvet with a crystal detail in the LV. It's so pretty. <laughs> I just love it. So you can see the crystal detail there and they are actually little crystals. And I can see in the viewfinder it is throwing blue so you can see the blue velvet. And it's just stunningly beautiful. I love it. I saw it on a shelf in London and I was like, oh! and Amelia was with me and she was like, it's so pretty. So yeah, I love it. I've done a whole video around how capucines are not worth the money. No, they're absolutely not, but they are beautiful bags nonetheless. And sometimes you find one that you just love and money does not matter. It, the worth of something is only um, whatever you deem it to be. And I deem this Capucines to be worth the money that I paid for it. Um, other Capucines, not so much. Resale, no, none. <laughs> but this is just beautiful. It has the navy blue leather handle on the top. And it has silver hardware because of those crystals. But if you look at the rings on the side, they have been covered in blue leather as well. We have the four feet on the bottom with the leather detail. And I don't know if that's actually um, focusing or not. And then inside we have the strap in its own little dust bag and it's all leather lined inside. So the things that make the mini capucines hard work are the move, the non-movable handle on the top and this flap, which can make it really hard to get in and out of, but it's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Right, the strap is silver braiding on one end and then you have the adjustable blue leather up the top so you can attach that and the D rings are on the outside which make them very easy to get to so let's just quickly I've got stickers on it which will drive me insane but we'll do that later so that's how it attaches and you can wear it as a shoulder bag you can wear it as a crossbody bag and it will sit just fine my capucines I generally wear as a handheld. I very rarely wear the strap. In fact, I cannot think of a single instance where I've ever put one of my, the straps on one of my mini capucines or even on one of my BB capucines. I always carry them by the top handle. Um, that doesn't mean other people don't love the straps. Um, I just don't use them. I don't know why. I just, I always just carry it by the top handle. But this is just so pretty. I just love it. So this is what the back looks like. It's just plain blue velvet. And the front's all the blue velvet with the beautiful crystal detail. And I'm so happy to have it. I was, I gotta say, I was really sad when I couldn't find it in Paris because um, I would have really loved this as a Paris piece. It will always have the memory of that, of that trip for me, even though I bought it in Sydney. Um, because that's where I found it. I found it in London. Um, and I'll probably tie it most tightly to the London part of the trip rather than the Paris part of the trip, but it's just such a beautiful, beautiful bag. Velvet can be hard because it is going to have things stick to it. So you might want a lint roller <laughs> for these types of bags, but it's just so pretty. This crystal detail is just amazing. It just, yeah, I can't, I just can't. I don't even have words, no words. No words. So people are going to ask me how much. And I do have the receipt here because it was attached to the box. Often I lose the receipts. So I had credit. So I did not pay full price for this because I had store credit from something that was supposed to be made that was never made. But this cap of scenes um, in Australian dollars was 10,800 Australian dollars, which is a lot of money. It's a ridiculous amount of money. It's a phenomenal amount of money for this bag. I don't think it 
was a bad price. I thought this crystal detail, it was going to be up over $13,000, $14,000. So to have it be $10,800, I was okay with that and it worked out with the conversion from pounds to dollars it would have been the same had I bought it in London but then I would have had to get it home and the capucines are not easy to deal with so as it turned out it was better for me to get it in Sydney than London would have been much better to get it in Paris and it would have saved me a whole heap of money but that's what we've got so yeah uh, at the end of the day I had more than half of that in credit so girl math it was less than half price <laughs> That's not a real thing, but that's how I'm looking at it. Um, so, yes, so this is my new mini Kappa scenes in the blue velvet with the crystal detail. I just, I'm in love. I love it so much. So, yes, I hope you also like it. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually three times a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.